Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Please comment, share, like, subscribe if any of this is resonating for you. Love all my subs. Y'all are so awesome. Thank you so much everyone for just um, the encouragement, being my support, uh, just honestly loving me like Christ and all of the things. <laughs> um, but I just... I really do appreciate and value each of you, and um, please do not be strangers. Uh, hit me up anytime, anywhere. If you can't reach me by phone, please text or email. Works good too. Um, yeah, so so much to be grateful and thankful for, and um, you know, it's not how we think we are glorifying the Lord but how the Lord is glorifying himself through our lives. I don't know if that's resonating for anyone or if that's biblically accurate, <laughs> but I don't know. I just um, went to sleep with that thought and I woke up with that thought as well. You know, it's not how we think we're going to glorify the Lord, but how he is actually glorifying himself through us. And it's just those simple acts of obedience that lead us to that glory, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's so beautiful, and we can just walk forward in that, and uh, some of you out there are struggling with suicide, things like that. I encourage you to hold on to that truth that um, you have purpose, you have meaning, your life has meaning, the Lord has called you for a reason, He has created you for a reason, He is uh, calling you to Himself, if you're just now tuning in. Um, I was not a believer in Christ about five years ago. I was radically saved on a convoy in Poland. And ever since that point, I've been searching, seeking, and the Lord has been drawing me closer and closer to himself. So it's just been wonderful uh, to see that work in my life. And I just want to share that with everyone because everyone deserves a chance to know the Lord. And he is just so kind and faithful. Um... Yeah, felt that one. <laughs> so anyways, love you all so very much and praying for you all. Again, you know, whatever your circumstances look like, um, it is how the Lord is glorifying, glorifying himself through those situations. And it's not for our glory, it's for God's glory. And uh, yeah, I honestly, I don't know what he's doing every day. I'm like, Lord, what is going on? <laughs> uh, we have to constantly be in prayer and battle because the evil one is going to try to throw some shenanigans our way, but uh, he will not prevail and the victory has already been won through the blood of Christ. So we can take, amen, we can take confidence in knowing that and trusting him and putting our whole lives uh, in his hands because he is in control of everything. And the one who created us, um, he wants the absolute best for us. We can trust that and love you all so much. I feel like that you to God someone. Uh, also, Psalm 19, I want to share that with y'all, and then I have a quick praise report, so I'm going to do that. I'm in the middle of a parking lot, but I just felt called to do this right now. So, Psalm 19 says, The heavens proclaim the glory of God, the skies display his craftsmanship. Day after day, they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. They speak without a sound or word. Their voice is never heard, yet their message has gone throughout the earth, and their words to all the world. God has made a home in the heavens for the sun. It bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding. It rejoices like a great athlete eager to run the race. The sun rises at one end of the heavens and follows its course to the other end. Nothing can hide from its heat. The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living. Reverence for the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb. They are a warning to your servant, a great reward to those who obey them. How can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. And just guarding, guarding our hearts and our minds, everyone, um, from those things that, you know, could be distracting us from the Lord. Um, Satan is very crafty. <laughs> and he will throw some curveballs at you. Trust and believe. But the Lord is faithful and he will, um, he will get us out. 
that. Trust and believe. He will get us out of that. So, love y'all so much. Oh, yeah. Also, praise report uh, from the jail. I visit the local jail. All glory to God, you know. And um, there was a group of gals that we were doing Bible study. And all of a sudden, the Lord just put this woman on my heart. And she wasn't even a part of the Bible study. They're, you know, all set up in like a large bay area. And I just saw this woman. She's sitting there. And, I mean, she looked, you know, normal. Nothing out of the ordinary but I was just like you know what I feel like the Lord's calling her so I asked one of the gals in the Bible study I was like hey can you go uh go get her and so she came to the table and I was like hey like I don't know you I don't know your situation I don't know who you are but can we all pray over you and she just started crying and we all prayed for her and um come to find out she's actually sentenced to prison and so, you know, we were praying over her and I was like, hey, I don't know how much longer you have here until you go to prison, but, um, you know, here's this Bible and you can meet with us and pray with us. And I don't know, it was just really cool because she didn't seem like she needed prayer, you know, on the surface level, everything seemed fine, but I don't know, the Lord just kind of called out in that situation and it's there are small acts of obedience that bigger things for God can move and of course he can work in all different types of ways and in huge ways because he's God right but I don't know it's just there's just something so sweet about his want to be in relation with us and us to be in relation with others and that's why I think it's so diabolical um, when people are feeling to isolate themselves and things like that I mean relationships are hard they honestly yeah they're just <laughs> people are gonna be people you know but sometimes we have to take that leap of faith and uh, make those connections because you never know who God wants to speak to through you you know um, yeah so anyways much grace to you all and uh, just that the Lord's peace would be with you all this week love you all so much so dearly and we'll see you next time bye